Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to set a attribute value by using set XML element attribute action. In the same way, if you want to set an XML element value which are available inside the XML, then we are going to use set XML element value by using that what we have done, we have set the value for the element. But if you observe in our previous sessions, what we have done, we have not replaced the XML after setting the values like attribute values as well as the element values. We have not replaced or written the XML node somewhere after modifying the attributes as well as the element values. Now, how can I go ahead and write the XML which we have generated after making the modifications or after making the attribute values or the element values. How can we go ahead and do that? There we are having the action called write XML to file XML action. What it will do? It will write the content of an XML to the particular file. Let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having set XML element value. Over there, what I have done, I have set an element value that is first name as P, right? or I will make it as will over here. So what will happen after reading the XML, whatever the X path that we have, that X path that is students, teachers, slash students, slash students, slash name, slash first name, it will set the value whatever we are having in the inside the XML document. It will set the value as will, right? Now let me show you that over here if you observe, I'm having the first name inside the export as James. But we're not writing the files once again with the will. We're just going to set the value, but we are not writing the or overwriting the value with the new values. We're not writing that. So now how can we go ahead and write inside the XML file by using write XML to file. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now the file path where you want to store the XML file. Now I will say in the same location where I'm having this original XML, I will give it in the same file location. I will give the same path. Over here, if you see the second parameter, I'm having XML to write. What is the XML? That after setting the values, after modifying my XML, by using this set XML element attribute or set XML element value that the data or the XML will be stored inside the XML document. I'm going to write the same thing over here. I'm going to select the flow variable over here as XML document. And then if you see the third parameter that is encoding. Encoding means that XML format that we all have. We're having default ANSI, Unicode, UTF-8 and whatnot. Now I'm going to use encoding as default. Okay, now if you see over here, I'm having another parameter format XML. What are the XML to write you are having inside the XML document? You want to write it in the XML format or not? So in that case, you're going to enable this. If you don't want, then you will write, you will disable this parameter. Right now, what I will do, I will show it with the disable and then I'm going to click on save. Now, to know that one, that the flow has been executed successfully or not, I will just use display message, message box action onto the workspace. And I will say message box title as flow and then message to display as successful. I will just give it this name and then I'm going to click on save. Now, the first thing is that we are going to write XML to file in the format uh, without the format of XML. We are not going to use XML format right now. We are having true or false only. And if you see over here, in my original XML, I am having first name as James. Now, it, what it will do, it will write the data in the XML format by using write XML to file after setting the value element as will for the first name X path. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see the flow has been executed successfully. Now, how could we know that the flow has been executed successfully? Let me go back to my XML once again. Let me refresh this path. 
over here you can see previously i had james right now it has been replaced with will and if you see over here whenever i'm going to open this file in the editor format that is in notepad i'm in the path where i have given the xml right now let me open with notepad now if you see over here this is the format xml we have disabled it right we have given it as false that's why you can see the entire file not in the xml format this is having all in the text format like simply in a single line you can see over here this entire data that you can see in the single line all right now what i will do i will select this property over here format xml as true and then if you see when so we have been made it as true then what will happen indented per level nothing but if you see over here for each and every line from one node to another node i want the space over here you can see white spaces over here that white spaces you will get it with the character number of character i have given white space per level as 2 or 3 what will happen it will comes uh, two spaces three spaces like that now let me show you one example over here what i will do to make you understand i will give it as 5 okay and also the format xml i am going to make it as true so that the output it will comes in the notepad it will comes in the xml format all right let's click on save now let's run the flow to see the output once again flow execution started and you can see the flow has been executed successfully now let me open the once again the xml and let me refresh once again over here you are having the same data right but where is the exact output that we will get it inside the edit it should be in the xml document let me go ahead let me click on edit now if you see the output over here what happen for each and every node for the students teachers slash students these nodes you can see over here 10 spaces will be there how much we have given we have given five spaces over here right five indention right so that what will happen over here you can check it out over here 1 2 3 4 5 you can see over here five spaces are there white spaces right this is how it is formatting the xml by using indentation per level let me make you to understand by increase the indentation by 10 let's click on save and then once again let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and the flow has been executed successfully let's click on okay now let's open the once again the students and teachers xml by clicking on edit for in the notepad format there you can see right now previously we had 5 right now we are having 10 spaces over here all right you can see for the remaining things also in the same way students from one node to an, another node we are having the same a uh, level that is nothing but same white spaces over here if you see it is starting over here and the after 10 spaces it will start over here and again you can say after 10 spaces it is starting in the same way while it is going to be ending the tax it will decrease by 5 and then finally you can see the same level of indentation for each and every node all right i hope you understand how to write the xml content to a file by using write xml to file action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day